I welcome everybody with love. Here we are on Memorial Day weekend. It's a pretty exciting time. So many people have given their lives for the right to be free. And that leads me to the meaning of the mark of the beast. Now, some people think it's going to be some kind of tattoo, Bill Gates tattoo vaccine type thing. Maybe. But there's another way of thinking about it that we we should, uh, it's worth understanding. Is that the mark of the beast is the way you think. We have the Shema, you know, and we have uh, where we we wear the the name of God on the forehead and, and right next to our heart, like this, or heart or hand. And so the teaching is to wear the name of God on your forehead, right, right there, and on your heart, right here. And that way, the mark of the beast can enter into you. So the mark of the beast, in a more subtle way, is a way of thinking. Are we going to just parrot what the system wants us to say? Are we just going to parrot what <clears throat> the elitists or the globalists want us to say? Now, the prophecy is if you don't wear the mark of the beast, although it didn't say it this way in those times, you'll get uh, kicked off the, you'll get banned from the internet. Well, they didn't actually say banned from the internet, did they? No, n- not really. Um, but you'll be deplatformed, right? And of course, that isn't what the, you know, the prophecy was. But the point is, you wouldn't be able to partake in commerce and wouldn't be able to function in uh, many levels in society. It's a very big uh, issue, and it's getting more intense as we see more and more people being uh, deplatformed and banned. And it's called, are we willing to be in the truth and to share the truth with all those around us? The bigger truth is there's only God. Okay, that's the most important thing. The mark of the beast is just the opposite. When we talk of the beast, who are we talking about? Satan, okay? It's not that complicated, okay? And Satan wants the entire world to think like Satan. Think about that for a second. So what are we seeing happening on all the social media type things like you know, Google and Facebook and all those things, is, hey, if you don't say it the way we want it to be said, and if you don't uh, follow our party line, because it is a party line, it's not a party, but it's a line, then you're deplatformed, and you're financially penalized. And so we need to look at that. Just the other day, Joe Rogan, Rogan, who actually I've only seen his program once ever, um, decided that he wasn't going to take on the Mark of the Beast. And he's going to a whole different platform uh, away from the, the different pla- you know, platforms he's on, the Google or whatever it was he was on. So... People are being forced to make decisions. Are we taking it on by what we think, wear it on your head, or by what we say, what's coming out of our heart? And so it's a challenge. There's no way to get around it. It's a challenge. Are we going to think and act according to what Satan wants? So there's one line. That's it. That's all can be said. Or are we going to talk about the truth? The truth that there's there's only God and the truth more factually. You know, 
that uh, of what's actually happening. So it's hard to get the facts because so many people really in the mainstream media are, have already taken on the mark of the beast. Um, I won't go into the details because that actually is a little bit deeper than I than we would like to think about. But they have agreed to play in the world of the beast. That's what we're looking at. And so, our choice. But it's a choice we're stuck with. And even though we have the uh, mechanics, you know, the Torah has mechanisms for a redemption and Christianity has mechanisms for redemption, it's a big deal. So I bless everyone that we have the courage to not take on the thinking and the speaking that reflects the mark of the beast. Peace be with you. Shalom, 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 om shanti, 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 om atakiwasan.